Roster VXL09 going to be doing a review on my mudslingers. These are uh, some pretty big tires. They're 40 series tires. Uh, I have them on my summit. And I'll be telling you guys some pros and cons about these tires. Okay, so let's start out with the pros of these tires. So first thing I'd like to say, as soon as I look at this tire, I love how it looks. It just looks very beefy, very clean, and uh, it looks like it's going to work really good, honestly. And it does. So, uh, other than looking good, it does perform good. The tread on it allows the um, mud, snow, dirt, it grabs into it and throws it out so it doesn't get stuck inside. Which is a great design. has a side sidewalls on it come out a little bit to get extra grip and uh those little details really do help all over it another pro of the mud sling tires is a high quality rubber they put all around to make the tire this isn't stock rubber like on the stock tires right there i'll uh show you so yeah how thin this stuff is i can pinch it it's so thin I mean, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with the stock tires. They're great if you're climbing. They grip into things. And they grip into rocks and allow you to get that extra grip. But if you're not just going to rock crawl, they don't do as good a job as these mudslingers do. Another pro about these mudslingers is they have the strength to hold up their own weight. They don't wilt at all on the bottom. When, uh... Truck pressure is put on it, unlike the stock ones, which would really just go down. Uh, yeah, these ones can uh, hold themselves up. Okay, and the last pro I'm going to do for these tires is, uh, if you own a Summit, and you're used to the stock tires, like you can see over here, uh, usually when you're in high, rolling down the road or whatever, they bloat out on you like crazy. And I find it very frustrating. Because uh, water usually gets trapped in there if you ever go through water. They just blow it up and make your car very unstable while you're going down. These ones do let water in them. Because uh, they have foam inside them. But they don't wobble at all. They stay very even. And uh, the rubber's just thick enough to where they don't bloat out at all. They don't blow it out. And I find it very cool because you can take them off-road, they're great. You can take them on-road, they're great because they don't blow it. Off-road, just amazing traction. And uh, they make my Summit ride maybe an inch taller. But, uh, yeah. Th those are the pros. Now, for the cons. Okay, and the first con for these tires are the price. These tires, I think, are pretty expensive. The tires themselves, I think, are $40 each just for the tire part. And then I had to pay an extra $30 for the rims. So, uh, that's just for two rims and two tires with $70. 40 plus 30, 70. And, uh, yeah, these things totaled up around 150 with shipping involved and that's pretty expensive for RC tires but as you can see they're pretty big and you can somewhat understand why they're so expensive because the quality just put into the, the rims and uh, yeah, these are real beadlock rims but I'll get to that these are also plastic rims but uh, unlike stock ones a lot more they feel a lot more firm inside there's no flex inside to it it feels it feels strong and you feel confident when they're on your vehicle so uh, let's go to the next con con number two of these mudslingers okay so second con is if you watched my beadlock video on how to install beadlock tires uh, it took forever to install these beadlocks. 
you gotta put the rubber underneath the, this metal ring you gotta put the screws in a certain order you gotta tighten it down and it just takes time guys especially if you got a small little allen wrench like I had at the time and uh... I don't know if you call it good or bad but these rims are uh... double sided beadlock which I guess they look pretty cool but it just Oh, it just destroys your fingers if you have a small Allen wrench. And it takes quite a bit of time doing all four tires. And, uh, yeah, it's the second con. It just takes time. Okay, and here's somewhat of a size comparison of these tires. These are 2.2s on the Mini Erivo. And, uh, yeah, these are the Mudslinger 40 series. They're, uh, almost the size of the whole car. <laughs> that looks awesome. But, um, yeah, that was uh, my Mudslingers review. If you uh, have any questions at all where to get these or any additional things I forgot to mention in the video, just let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer you guys as soon as I can. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, Rusty VXL09, out.